Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. This is a game that's been out for a while, but it's gotten some updates recently. It's a game that I played with Wifey quite a while back and had a lot of fun with. If you're unfamiliar, it's kind of a buildy interior exterior design type game in which you buy houses you renovate and uh decorate them and then you try to sell them and that's essentially it's it's hgtv the game essentially <laughs> So, I have put in quite a bit of time on this save file just going through like all the tutorial missions, all, all of these, so we don't have to deal with them, we don't have to worry about like not having all the tools and things unlocked, and we're ready to dive into the fun part, which is buying houses and selling them. And also, this is our little starter office, which I have done absolutely nothing to so far, except for maybe getting some trash that was sitting <laughs> directly in front out of the way. So I think our very first task is going to be to renovate this office right here and and make our our workspace uh, not gross because it's pretty bad right now. Um, so I think I'm going to start by mowing the lawn and getting the front lawn cleared out, getting rid of all these weeds and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll start tackling the shack that we see in front of us. Much better. Now we actually have a nice mowed lawn. Uh, our house, on the other hand, or it's not even really a house, it's an, it's a shack. Our shack is kind of nasty and dirty. If we look in the upper right, you can see the map. And the map shows you all the little dirt spots and things. So let's kind of give our house a good, a good hose down. <laughs> Get rid of some of this dirt and grime and stuff like that. We're probably going to end up painting the outside of this just because this uh, this wood looks very weathered and gross and we want to live in a nice place or at least work out of a nice place. There we go. Beautiful. Now it's all cleaned off. Uh, let's see about selling stuff. This door is going to get replaced. This is going to go. This is going to go. These are all going to go. Uh, maybe keep the chainsaw. So that stuff, that's going to go. Get rid of all of this. Oof, that's a nasty bathroom. Uh, we're going to replace all of this stuff as well. That can go. This can go. That can go. This can go. <laughs> the tools... I think maybe we'll leave the tools for the time being. There is still some dirt inside that we can kind of get rid of. But a lot of this is just going to be retiling uh, surfaces and painting walls. So I think I'll start with the exterior of the house. Let's just see what we have here for options. If you look at like panels, we got a bunch of different things. Um, this is kind of an exterior house looking thing, I think. Like this, this would look relatively good, right? Yeah, that's much better than this nasty brown, I think. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm going to get this tiled and I'm going to get some uh, walls painted and things like that. There we go. I think that already looks considerably better, at least from the outside. Put in a new door as well to sort of match everything. I just realized that this floor doesn't match, but we'll deal with that momentarily. Let's worry about this bathroom, because this bathroom is nasty. Uh, let's see. Let's go with a floor. Let's just get a simple white floor tile in here. Something like that. That'll look decent. And then I think we'll just get some white paint. And we'll just paint the whole thing with regular white walls in the bathroom. And I'm probably going to paint all of this out here with white as well. One thing, honestly, that I love about this game is that it's just really chill and relaxing. It's like the perfect sort of stress relieving type game <laughs> it's kind of like a like a stardew valley in that regard and you just kind of it's, it's just chill you just sort of do your thing and there's no pressure and 
no real stress of any kind, and you just sort of unwind. It's wonderful. Okay, everything's all painted. Bathroom. Added a white door, etc. I think we gotta tackle this floor. Now, unfortunately, this floor texture right here, which I like quite a lot, I don't think it's actually in the game. Like, I don't think I can purchase it to fix this little bit. So, I think what we're actually gonna do is go with a different floor texture instead. And I kinda like this brown par parquet? Is it pronounced parquet? Parquet? Well, I think it's parquet. Well, we're gonna go with this sort of brown. I, I like this. It's nice and simple. It's a little bit lighter in color. It's still a hardwood floor. I think it'll look nice. We don't need a bed or anything like that in here because this is going to be just an office. That's essentially my plan. Um, I know I want to get rid of this desk. I wouldn't mind having a large shelf of some sort to put all this stuff on. I mean, we could go with like a, like a utility shelf, something like this. And we could put all of our tools and things on there because you know if we're a if we're a professional home renovator i imagine we have to have our tools right like that that makes sense in my brain you, you got to have a shelf for all your tools and stuff uh let's put that there little hatchet uh i can put that down there next to the chainsaw that's fine that we'll put there pliers, and a, let's kind of rotate it a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'm going to sell the coffee cup for now. We'll get that back later. And then this is going to be our little desk area. So I'm just going to move the laptop to over here so we have this sort of space to work with. Let's see. Next step, furniture. Okay, we have furniture. Check it out. We got a little corner desk, some safes, little computer setup, put in a sofa, added a little kitchen area just for a coffee machine and a a, um, a microwave. You know what? It'd be nice if we could get... Is there like a mini fridge? Mini fridge. Look at that. Um, how big is this? Not very. We could fit that under here instead. Maybe I put the safe somewhere else. Like, let's put the safe there. And then we'll put the mini fridge down here underneath the desk. Like so. Beautiful. I like it. I think it'll do. Um, and then just a couple other things. We need some lights. That'll be easy. So let's look at ceiling lamps. And personally, I like this one right here. Put that right there. And then we'll get one more. Oh, we got to, we still got to do the bathroom, don't we? Uh, that's fine. Let's put one like right there. And this is just a nice, bright ceiling light, which will light up this whole area. Probably want like a desk lamp, I think. So if we look at like standing, yeah, we got some desk lamps over here. Maybe we put one, something like that. Just so there's a little light coming in. Uh, windows are fine and do not need to be cleaned, but we do need blinds. So let's go, um, Let's see here. What do we want to do for blinds? We could just do these. I think this is probably what we want to do. We'll put a closed blind in there. And open blinds. In all the other windows. And then we'll do the little assembly mini game. Which is pretty straightforward. But let's do that and then let me start working on the bathroom. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We got a sink, a mirror, a shower, and a toilet. Uh, we're going to get rid of this towel radiator because that's not really a thing 
in the United States. That's a very European thing. This game is uh, is made by European developers. So sometimes there's some of those things like towel radiators that are like, huh? It's, it's not a thing in the US. But what we will do is add a towel rack. Uh, let's see, which of these do we like? That could be nice. Sort of this green. What about the blue? Gray. We'll go with the gray. That's That looks like a towel that I would actually use. So let's hang that up here. And then we need some toilet paper. Because it's not a proper bathroom if you don't have TP. It's very important. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we've got a little bathroom. We've got a little area out here. And I think that this is now a livable, workable space. This should get the job done. So now it is time to pick out a new house to buy. I'm going to put some finishing touches on this and then I'll start looking through our list of options. This seems like a good pick. Nice and small since we're already halfway through an episode. It's the first house on the list. Let's do it. Let's see what we're working with here. So it's kind of uh, gross and disgusting. <laughs> There's going to be trash and dirt. Yeah, I know all about this stuff game. You don't need to give me tutorials. I've got like a hundred hours of game time <laughs> playing House Flipper over the years. It's a fun game. Okay, so here's what we've got. This sort of nasty house that's filthy and very dirty and kind of gross. We got some trees out here that we're probably going to end up chopping down. I'll have to mow the lawn, obviously. Let's see what we're working with on the inside. Eh, got some trash. Nothing too worrisome. A little kitchen area over here. And then this is the bathroom. Whew. What is with these people in their green bathrooms? That's just nasty. All the walls need to be painted. We're going to have to tear... I think we're probably just going to tear out basically everything here. Sell, you know, strip everything. Uh, sell it. Repaint, new tiles, uh, maybe new floors. The floor, actually, the floors are probably okay, except for the bathroom. We'll want to do new bathroom tiles. New doors, since these are looking pretty ragged. We'll definitely have to clean the house, because you can see that's looking pretty bad as well. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Let me get started. So in this game, you are unable to mess with external walls and where windows are placed, but you can change internal walls. And that is exactly what I intend to do here. So this bathroom, I think, is a little bit big for a house of this size. I mean, this is like a quarter of the house dedicated to just the bathroom. And I think that's not very, very, uh, it's just not a very efficient use of space. So I think what I want to do is make the bedroom larger, which means we can just demo this wall here and rebuild it and push it into here just a little bit. I think that's going to, oh, there's a weird... Oh, this I don't like. I didn't realize that there's a weird little turn in the wall right here. That's kind of goofy. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe we turn this into the bedroom and this into the bathroom? Ooh, actually, I have an idea. Okay, I got the bathroom figured out. So what I decided to do was add a little shower that's sort of built into the wall here, which I think looks nice. And then I added a washing machine as well. And I think that makes better use of this space uh, so that it doesn't feel like the bathroom is oversized compared to the size of the rest of the house. And I think the bathroom turned out pretty well. Nice and simple. Um, so now this is going to be a living room and kitchen. And then this will be the bedroom over here. I think I want to tackle the living room and kitchen first. And then we'll move into the bedroom. I also painted all the walls in the house white. Uh, but that's not going to be permanent. I think I'm going to go with a different color for the bedroom. 
and maybe a different color for parts of it out here? I don't know yet. Oh, also, one other thing I should do that I didn't even think of uh, is tile the area inside the shower. So this was one of the things that was added to the game since last time I played. And that is, if you grab certain wall tiles, you can choose a color. So if we go with white, because that's what matches the walls, you can put that in here and you can see it'll only do like half of the wall. It used to be that it would always go all the way up to the ceiling, which didn't always look good. Like if you were doing like kitchens or something like that, um, it wasn't great because it made your like backsplashes and stuff look really weird when they went all the way up to the ceiling. So I think this was one of the one of the better changes that was made since last time I played and I'm a big fan of it. Check it out. I think I have the living room all done and looking good. I like it. Well, living room slash kitchen. So he added in a sofa, put in a fireplace with a hanging wall mounted TV, and then just some cabinets and a stove and sink and fridge and all this kind of stuff. So we got like our little kitchen area over here, put in that backsplash. Um, all in all is a very simple living room, but I think it looks pretty good. So we've got a fairly simple, straightforward bathroom. We've got a fairly simple, straightforward living room. And now we just need to tackle the bedroom. I went pretty simple for the bedroom as well. Just added a simple bed, some uh, like a little dresser over here, a desk, couple shelves, guitar, painting. There's not a ton of space to work with in here. Uh, went with a ceiling fan because it's a little bit more of a, a natural sort of soft light than it is um, like the bright, more, I guess you'd say like industrial light out here. Um, but I think it worked out. I mean, it's, as I said, it's not a lot of space to work with. It's a fairly simple bedroom. The whole house is pretty small, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. So at this point, all we need to do is sell the thing. We didn't really do much with the front yard other than mow it, so we're not going to do anything with the garden contest. But let's see what we got here. Took me a grand total of about an hour to do all of that. And let's just take a peek. So we bought the house for 35,000. We spent we spent roughly what, 8, 9,000 or so on renovations and things, furniture, etc. So we we spent, you know, I don't know, what would that be? I wish it told you total cost <laughs> right here instead of saying house price and not all this stuff. But either way, we uh, we, did, we did all right. 12000 on roughly, we'll say like 45000 That's a decent profit margin. I think that's good. Uh, the Jantart family would be more interested if there were more plants. But like, honestly, I'm good with it. Let's just accept the offer. And then we get a little before and after, which is pretty cool. Like, it's it's nice to see your hard work pay off. But there we go. We have sold our first house and we've renovated our office. So now we can continue. If you have ideas for renovation themes for future houses, put them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.